Lawmakers taking center stage at the battle over health care take Olympia Snow, the senator from Maine, all eyes this past week on that Republican, the only member of her party to vote yes on the Baucus bill in committee. The legislation considered to be the template for any health care reform in the U.S. Senate. But how much clout do the swing voters like Snow have and what kind of an impact could this have on the final language of the bill? After all, Snow's vote wasn't needed to get the bill into the Senate floor. And what happens in the House? With us now for a fair and balanced look, two members of the House, Democratic Congresswoman Chelly Pingree of Maine. She is on the House uh, Financial uh, Rules Committee and Republican Congressman Christopher Lee of New York. He is on the House Financial Services Committee. Good to see you both. Thank you. Uh, Representative Thanks. Pingree, if the public option cannot, in the end, get through the Senate and it's eliminated in the final conference committee are there enough votes um, in, in your body the house to get it through without the public option it's a very good question i would say it's a long road from here to there and i feel very strongly that we're likely to get a bill out of the house with a good public option and then we hope that will be a negotiating point with the senate i think when the senate comes to their expenses and realizes that without a public option it's going to be very hard to have uh, frankly good reform of the health care system uh, they may come around and, and it's still unclear what's going to happen in the Senate uh, I can't really speak for that body but I can say in the House there's a lot of interest in this coming from the state of Maine uh, where we see the public option is kind of the middle ground uh, we certainly hope that it is a big part of the system Congressman Lee if are, are there any Republicans in the House of Representatives that would vote for a compromise bill that would call for the nonprofit health cooperatives, not a public op option, but the cooperatives, uh, especially if those co-ops are not tied to uh, Medicare reimbursements. Would there be any Republican votes? None that I'm aware of, and a co-op is just really another way or ultimately of getting to this government option. And, and right now, there's, there's a lot of uh, freshman Democratic members that I've talked to who have realized that uh, the House has been overreaching on their spending. Everything from the yeah. stimulus that's been ineffective, a cap-and-trade bill that could leave small business and taxpayers on the uh, hook for another trillion dollars. And now you're talking about a further expansion into health care with a single payer. People I talk to in my district overwhelmingly are against a further government intervention into their day-to-day -day lives on health care. Uh, Representative Pingree, a Fox News Opinion Dynamics poll just came out a couple of days ago and it found by a margin of 54 to 35 percent. That's a huge margin. Americans oppose the reforms that are being offered by the president and you Democrats in Congress. To what do you attribute that? Well, it's interesting because polling numbers in the state of Maine are actually quite different. Uh, what we see in the polls here are that people are very strongly in favor of a public option. Yeah, but people that's like Maine. What I'm talking system. about is the nation at large. That's huge. 54% to 35% are against what you're proposing. Well, first off, I don't know how you worded the question. And then I would say that part are of Are you in job favor of the reforms being proposed? Or are you not in favor of the forms? being proposed. I mean, it doesn't get any more straightforward than that, Representative. It, and, I, and I can't argue with your polling data, but I can say that our job as legislators is to create a very good health care system. And I think actually one of the reasons that Maine is ahead on this is because our state legislature over the years has tried uh, tremendously to try to expand health care reform. And we have a public that's been watching what happens when 78% of the coverage in our state is just Anthem, so we don't have any competition in the coverage. People have seen their rates go up, small businesses are struggling under the weight of this, and people are saying, hey, we need some competition out there. That's what the public option is. It isn't government bureaucracy uh, any more than Medicare is an important part of how we cover our seniors in this country. I think it's the best way to go about doing it. It's very strongly supportive of the, of the people in the state of Maine, but even if I was looking at polling numbers like you're talking about, yeah. I would still say as a responsible legislator, if I want to do something for the national economy and the main economy, I'm going to bring about health care reform. We're not going to move this economy ahead if health care costs keep rising the way they are today. Congressman, I, so Congressman Lee, let me, piece, go let me go to you. If Olympia Snow is the only Republican in both houses that votes for health care reform, is that bipartisan support as the president claims or is that nothing more than a charade? 
Well, that's my frustration is, is that the president, uh, the, the Democratic majority have talked about the fact that they want real reform. And if you look at just the House bill, 1,100 pages, the single biggest opportunity to reform the system is liability reform. And unfortunately, the Democratic majority and the president are protecting one of their largest special interest groups. And for us not to have liability reform, which will truly take costs out, doctors are asking for it, hospital administrators, and we're, we're never going to get to real reform unless the majority opens up and says we've got to put all options on the table. And that's why you're not seeing a single Republican getting behind this. Potentially Olympia Snow, but I think even in her case, uh, it'll be questionable whether or not she'll join this. But their bill taxes small business. We have record unemployment, 9.8%, and now we're talking about a further tax hike to hurt small business who are the very people we're counting on to help get us out of this recession. It just doesn't make sense. Representatives Shelley Pingree and Christopher Lee, thank you both for being with us. Thank Absolutely. you.